Hello, Moises. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of work. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, bueno, de hecho vengo llegando a casa. <laughs> ah, wow, very late, very late, huh? I I go uh, at church. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Is you go to church very late? Uh, la última parte si no la entiendo. Eh, the time, the time for the church is is late ah uh, uh, eight at 8 8 p.m wow difficult at 8 p.m i uh, eat mm. finish finish at eight exactly finish. okay and what time it starts six six and middle six thirty six uh -huh. 6 at p.m. What, at what time? 6, eh, como si se y media? 6.30. Ah, 6.30. Okay. P.m. Okay. Mm. And you go to church on Wednesday? ¿A dónde? No, the day. What day? Ah, eh, oh, only Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday and Sunday, two days. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Good teacher. Day. Good evening. How are you, Eric? I'm fine. With cold. <laughs> With cold. <laughs> yeah. Nah. You? Nah. The same with cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cold. Mm -hmm. Eric, what is cold? Frío. No. When you say... Cold when... es helado. No. Cold is gripe. Ah. Yeah, uh, also... When you say with cold, is uh, con gripe. Uh, you yeah. say uh, helado is only cold. ¿Cómo se dice? Es que yo le iba a decir I que am, tengo. I am cold. O sea, estoy. Cold. Tengo frío. Exactly. Ajá. But I have cold. Correct. Gripe. Yep. Correct. That's correct. So, Eric, you have a cold? Yeah, I have a cold. Okay. Then, yes, yes, yes. Me too. Yeah, I I began the morning. Ah, okay. The morning. Today. Yep. Ah, okay. I think that I have a friend. Well, my friend has cold too. And uh, has a cold. Yeah, has a cold. Okay. Okay. He passed me. Maybe, maybe it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Vanessa, how was your day? Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh -huh, Vanessa, how was your day? Uh, very good. Okay, why Vanessa? Todo bien. Everything? Everything. Everything? How do you say bien? Everything. No, that's todo. How do you say bien? Bien. Good. 
good. Correct. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh -huh. um, Todo bien? All good. All good. All good. Very good. Or everything good. good. Or everything good. Yeah. And did you go to work today? Yes. I did you I did you I did mm -hmm. go. I worked. I work. Okay. And the job is is easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> Your job is difficult. Okay. But today, no problem. No problem. Okay. All right. So, very nice. Today, we're going to be looking at and reviewing Unit 4. Okay. So, in Unit 4, we have a lot of activities, a lot of things to remember from Unit 4. Teacher, yes. tomorrow is the last class, right? Correct. Tomorrow is the last class. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So today we have many things that we're going to look at. We're going to talk about the first. We have things people have to do. If you remember, these are obligations, okay? We're going to use also today the simple past with regular verbs and using the negatives also, okay? We have simple past and we have the ED, if you remember, okay? Also, we have irregular verbs. Remember, always when you use didn't, regular or irregular, if you use didn't, the verb is in present, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk with our partner the first topic, the first topic for unit four is things you do not like to do, things that you hate to do, okay? Or things that you, sorry, things that you have to do. So what do you have to do? What are obligations? For example, in your job, in your house, in maybe in the, in the church, in, in the in different way and etc okay so ah for example in the church okay you have to be quiet you must listen okay in the job you depend your job the different situations if you don't remember how you can go to unit four unit four has the video the unit four is what things people have to do okay hi everyone in this class if you remember we have for example the different things that you have to do maybe in the in the supermarket in the bank maybe in the house in the grocery these are the things that you have to do and how do we make the sentences for example i have to or i don't have to remember i have to is obligation yes I don't have to, is obligation, no. It's okay? Okay. Yeah, teacher, it's okay. okay. Good, this is the first activity. So the first activity is that we talk with our partners about things that you have to do or don't have to do in the, diff in the different places and why. So I'm going to give you one more example to be sure it's clear. I have to clean my house because I don't have money for, uh, for help. I, I don't have other person to help me. I have to clean the house because it's not, is very dirty. So you give the sentence and explain why.
Eric, Did what you... happened? Uh -huh. mm, no sé, me sacó de la reunión. Okay, bueno. okay. I send, uh -huh. you, I send you another time. Okay. Okay. Jocelyn, wow. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put you to the group.
Paola. Wow, welcome, Paola. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Um, how do you say the new exam? I had an exam. I have an exam. Mm -hmm. um, you had an exam? Yes. University? Yes. Ah, okay. And the exam was easy. Sorry? The exam was easy or difficult? Um, some difficult. Un poco difícil. Uh, a little difficult. A little difficult, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, guys, now that we did the first part, don't worry. Well, now that we did the things that you have to do, now we're going to go on to using the verbs, the verbs in past, the regular, and using the verbs in irregular for things, okay? So we're going to talk about, for example, last week, last year, the last vacation, the different things. We are going to ask the partner questions. Remember, how do we make questions in the past? Did you, did you go to the Cameron? Okay, as an example, did you go to the Cameron in August? Hey, did you visit your grandmother in September? Did you eat pupusas yesterday? These are the different questions. And then the answers, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Or you make the sentences, I, and then you use the verbs in past. If the verb is regular, is ed. If the verb is irregular, then you have to know. For example, no, I went. So did you go to the camera? No, I didn't. I went to someplace else. I went to El Puerto de la Libertad, for example. It's okay? Okay. 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 We are going to create a conversation. N yes, exactly. Now you're going to create a conversation about the different activities uh, are talking about the past events. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Any questions? Okay. Let's no, go. All clear. All clear. All right.
Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what... Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Teacher. Yes, Paola. Se me salí y estaba con Eric. Sí, te mandé la invitación otra vez. Ok, no me salió. Ok, please. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I Didn't Study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. 
Chopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Okay, let's see a few examples. Um, Jocelyn, tell me about your partner. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me about your partner. Okay. Um, we, we did a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, For example, um, describe Alexander. Mm -hmm. what, what happened with Alexander? Alexander, mm -hmm. Alexander uh, went to the beach on Sunday mm -hmm. and she went to work today. And she, the question uh, was, did you eat pupusas today? But he, mm, he didn't. He ate uh, ate pupusa, uh, pizza. Very good, Jocelyn. Very good. Good use the past tense and good for positive and negative. Good. Uh, Alexander, describe Elmer. Okay, Elmer. Uh, he. He go to work today. Mm. Uh, no, he go. Ah, uh, did he go to work today? Uh, he said yes, I did. Okay. And and the answer question: uh, Did you buy? Did he buy clothes last week? And he answered, yes, I did. Uh, he bought the shirt. A negative answer, no, no, he didn't, because he put shoes. Okay, good, Alex. Remember, you... Alex, the pronunciation, but, but. But. Mm -hmm. But. Okay. Okay, it is. Okay, no, you can continue, Alex. Go ahead, continue. Uh, or okay. Um, did he did he have a good weekend? He said yes, I did. Uh, he went to the beach. And negative answer, no, he didn't because uh, he went to visit your family. Okay. All right, Alex. Alex, 
remember uh, is is not is not my family is his family careful with okay. the pronouns he went to visit his family okay okay uh, good job alex good job okay elmer elmer describe jocelyn um i answered to jocelyn uh, did you have a good weekend and jocelyn said i just yes i didn't i guess i did i went to the beach on Sunday, in the negative answer, uh, she said, no, I didn't because I was work on weekend. Good. Elmer, I was working. I was working on Sunday. Working. But remember, okay. Elmer, it, it, it's good. She said I was working. Good. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, I answered to Jocelyn, I uh, asked. You, you, I asked mm -hmm. uh, to Jocelyn, did you go to work today? And Jocelyn say, I yes, I did. I went to the work today. In the negative sense, the answer, um, she said, no, I didn't because I stayed, uh, stayed at home. Good, Oliver. Pronunciation, stayed. D, d, stayed. Stayed. With, with the stayed. D, okay. a strong D, stayed. Stayed. Uh, no, this is the present. In the past is D. Stayed. D. d. Stayed. Yes. Stayed. Okay, good, okay. good, Elmer. All right, guys, good job, group, good job. All right, let's see one more group, Claudia and Crisia. Claudia, tell me about Crisia. Okay, and Crisia went went to to the beach. His family on Sunday. Her family. Her what? Her family. Her family. Mm -hmm. Um, she she bought. She went to the market. Um, in in the week, uh, she bought food for every time, every time, and weekend, bought for cooking dinner, prepare hamburger and. And frit. Um, Prepare hamburger and? Papa fritas frit. Ah, no, no. Oh. Fries. 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 Mm -hmm. ah, fries. Um, she, she went, she was working on Sunday. Uh, mm -hmm. She, she stayed on in the house on Sundays. Um, well, Crisia, I like to, I like to, she, like, like, she like it. She like it um, with uh, our family in the week. Okay, she liked, she liked. She liked. Okay, good, thank you, Claudia. Good job, good job, Claudia. All right, Crisia, tell me about Claudia. Okay, the question was, did you have a good weekend? Uh, Claudia said, uh, uh, no, no, didn't, because uh, she went to the supermarket and later, uh, she went, she cleaned it, cleaned it. Yes, the correct, the pronunciation cleaned. is correct. Cleaned. Cleaned, mm -hmm. clean, clean her house. And, and, the other, and the other question was, <clears throat> uh, when did, did you work today? Uh, she went work today and she worked 
she she went she went uh, work sería teacher she worked mm -hmm. she worked uh, Monday and Tuesday that's it excellent Crisia very good 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 job good job Claudia and Crisia good job in using the past tense very nice okay now we go to the next part the next part of unit four review is talking about the summer activities. What activities do you like to do? Do you like to go to a picnic? Do you like to go swimming? Do you like to play volleyball? Do you like to go hiking? The, the different summer activities, right? And then you're going to tell your partner the little story, for example, about you. Uh, for example, me, I like to go, as an example, I like to go hiking in the volcano of San Salvador. I like to visit El Boqueron and have lunch in the, in the mountain. It's, for me, is very nice. Uh, I, I don't like to go to the beach when it's vacation because in the vacation, a lot of people, and I don't like to be with a lot of people, for example. So with your partner, one more time, you are now we are going to look at activities that different activities that you like. Uh, what do you like to do in the summer in El Salvador is not so is not so much the summer because we only have two, but is the idea what activities do you like riding a bicycle going to the gym okay and describe a little bit about this. It's okay. 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 Let's try again. All right.
Meet old friends. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. I had an awful weekend. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title "Weekend Stories." Weekend Stories. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all, and after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C. X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. 
and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, let's practice. Let's see. Eric, tell me about your partner. Hello? Hello? Yep. Yeah, yeah. We can hear. Yes, give me a game, please. Tell me about your partner. Uh, uh, Prisha likes in the summer to do, to dance, to dance, right? To dance? To das, das, hacer, to das. No, 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 to do, to do. Ah, to do, okay. Mm -hmm. Christian likes to do, uh, first is go to the gym. Well, she, she does exercise in her house. Uh, she, she did, she doesn't like uh, a picnic. And what else? I don't remember. So <laughs> okay, okay, Eric. But it's good, it's good. Okay, Christian, tell me about Eric. Uh, okay. Uh, he like it. Uh, go swimming pool, and obviously. I, uh, he like it, uh, play soccer field. He likes, he likes. Likes mm -hmm. soccer field. Mm -hmm. And he, he don't like uh, go to the beach. He doesn't like. He doesn't, ah, yes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like uh, go to the beach and, and go picnic. Because it's scary. ¿Cómo se dice araña en inglés? Spiders. Scary spiders. And he he doesn't like play basketball too. Okay. Good job. Good job. Remember, Crisia and Eric, when we say the third person is the S. Likes. Uh doesn't like likes okay plays mm -hmm. goes okay okay <clears throat> good job good job let's see moises tell me about your partner moises uh, is um oops i don't remember <laughs> claudia claudia was your partner oh, okay okay claudia claudia is she she live in in Soyapango. Lives, lives, lives. Okay, mm -hmm. she lives in Soyapango. She works in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she she likes my my work. 
Um, um, where? In the summer? Remember, in the summer, what does she like to do in the summer? Uh, I, I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no le pregunte eso. Ok. What, what did you ask, Moisés? ¿Qué le preguntaste, Moisés? Contando de lo que lo preguntaste. Eh, que estuvimos hablando de varias cosas. Eh, I, y she's a auxiliar con, con, de contabilidad. Con, Accountant? Content, yeah. Okay. Eh... No problem, no problem, Moises. Okay. Good, it's okay. Claudia, tell, oh, me okay. About <laughs> tell me about Moises. Okay. He, he lives in Soyapango, in the Margaritas. Colonia, how do you say? Neighborhood? Neighborhood. Uh -huh. so, uh, Las Margaritas. Um, he, he likes uh, a movie, the, the action, and he, he doesn't like uh, drive a car because mm. uh, mm. terrific traffic. Terrible, in, terrible, terrible traffic. Terrible traffic in San Salvador. And uh, he, he likes. No. He likes. He, he doesn't like um, biking mm -hmm. because um, a stranger in the strip that falls. Okay, okay, good job, Claudia and Moises. All right, good, okay, very you. good. Let's see, one more group. Um, Elmer, yeah, Elmer and Jocelyn. Okay, uh, I question to, or oh, I ask to Jocelyn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you like to do on summer? And Jocelyn asked me a uh, ask, uh, answer, okay. answer uh, mm. that she likes to go to the beach and she likes to eat ice cream. She likes to visit his uncle. To she visit? likes to visit her 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 uncle mm -hmm. uh, she likes to sleep late and she likes to watch she likes to watch movies she likes to do exercise and clean her house she likes to go to the park, only that. Okay, all right, good job, Elmer, good job. Jocelyn, tell me about Elmer. Okay, what does Elmer like to do on summer? Uh, he likes room, he likes travel to other country, he likes visit his parents, Okay. He likes get up late. Okay, Josie, remember when you use likes, you use he likes to. He likes to get up late. He likes to travel. He likes to. Okay. 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 He likes to ride a bike. Mm -hmm. He likes to read a book. And he likes to go to the shopping. Ah, okay. Interesting. Very good. All right. That's excellent work, guys. Any questions for unit four? Okay. 
only the pronunciation, the verb, the regular verbs. Bueno. No, the, 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 the regular verbs. The regular verbs, okay? The regular verbs. Let's see. Her. So we pronounce the... For example, here, yes? Here's the... This was the idea for the regular verbs. Let me put back a little bit more. Okay. So in English, there are three pronunciations for the regular verb. Is with voice or voiceless. Voiceless, no vibration. No. This is with t. -t. Voiced, yes, you have vibration. When And then pronunciation with D. So the pronunciation, for example, here is wanted, needed, is with pronunciation like id, id, wanted, needed. Here, the pronunciation is t, t, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed danced, fixed. All here, it have the sounds like sh, s, this, this sound then is with T. The other letters have pronunciation D. For example, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed it's okay or do you want me to repeat a pronunciation again no it's okay thank okay. you 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 welcome it's okay too okay remember the important is how the original word if the original word finish with t for example want finish with t so the pronunciation in past is id wanted if finish with d the original word need, then pronounce id, needed. This is the important part. How is the original word for the pronunciation? Any other questions? Okay. Okay, tomorrow we review unit five. And tomorrow is the last day. So if I think everybody complete the platform, but if not, woof, it's time to complete. Tomorrow is the last day, okay? Okay. Great teacher. Okay, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to class and I see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.